It's a tale as old as time and a song as old as rhyme. Fuck the police. Now, that's something I think bonds us throughout our human experience, going all the way back to the first iterations of government back in ancient Sumeria. I'm sure back then people told Sargon of Akkad, not that one, the actual Sargon of Akkad and his enforcers to fuck off. Well, to be fair, a lot of people tell the current Sargon of Akkad to fuck off as well, but another topic for another day. And nothing warms my heart like people getting one over on the government or its agents. And for one YouTuber in general, Moody Yacker, she accomplishes this task. Now, what did exactly Moody do? Well, Moody encountered Sam Ford, who was the chief of police for the city of Lynn, Missouri. And Moody gave him the one-fingered salute. And it is from there where things started to unravel. Hold on, what? What I was that? I need to see your ID. For what? Uh, because what you just did is considered disorderly conduct in the city of Lynn. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Fun. okay. No, that's a First Amendment activity. No, it's not actually. It, accident, it actually is. I need to see your ID, please. No. <laughs> now, Moody gets credit for pointing out what she did was protected under the First Amendment. And Chief Ford is wrong to demand her identification. Why? Well, she didn't break the law and she isn't suspected of breaking the law. He could say disorderly conduct, but. That was not disorderly conduct. That's a Stop First Amendment away. protected no, it's activity. Not a First Amendment. Protected yes, it is. Activity. I'm busy trying. To... Don't touch me. Stop. Don't touch me. You Dude, are Don't under fucking arrest. touch me. Don't you fucking touch arrest. me. Get the fuck away from me. Who the fuck are you? Don't touch me. Seven hundred oh six. Get me a county unit headed this way. I'm gonna stop you resisting my detention. No, don't fucking touch me. I didn't do shit you to you. You are under arrest. No. Now, do I recommend that you run away from the cops or resist arrest when they tell you you're under arrest? No. The jig is up at that point. All I can tell you is, if you comply with them, we can go to court and beat it. But I also understand, well, you might have the right to resist arrest depending on the state you live in. If you're not in America, well, geez, yeah, you're not resisting arrest, I don't think, in any situation. But if you are in America, some states do allow for that. But that's predicated on a couple of critical things. So as an attorney, can I tell you or should I encourage you to resist arrest? No, I can't do that in good faith because I don't know where you live, number one. Number two, I don't want you to get hurt or risk getting hurt. And number three, it's far easier to deal with the case in court than it is on the side of the road or in a YouTube channel. You are under arrest. No. Uh, right now. Okay, I will stop now. Uh, Lena, can you hold this, please? For additional charges for escape. Okay, go ahead, because... Go. Uh, I don't want to hate people. No, go. no, if you're going to do it, handcuff You're going to go outside oh, this no. door right now. No, if you're going to arrest me because I flipped you off out Man, there, you're go ahead and do it. Okay? This is because he flipped me off. No, go ahead and do I it. I didn't flip you off. Go. No, this is because I flipped you off. Once threatened with escape, Moody stops and forces him to arrest her now notice he doesn't slap cuffs on her and yes he's told her that she's under arrest but he also grabs a hold of her arm now why is that important well i think that was a good move on moody's part because now it's unmistakable that she is 100 percent detained and seized under the fourth amendment and why is that critical because this is an illegal arrest and she might be able to use this later I just wanted to include this part because I thought it was hilarious. This police officer is so, I think, bad at his job or so ADD addled in his brain, he can't even fully Mirandize her before he runs off onto other subjects and tasks. Right now, we're trying to run for Right now, we're trying to run for as we fast forward through the video we see that moody is handcuffed and then she is uncuffed but she's already been told she's under arrest and she's not free to leave so by all means she is still legally under arrest now keep in mind this is an illegal and unlawful arrest by chief ford but she still can't leave but it's at that point he summons her over to the car after nearly 15 minutes that the real fun starts. Okay. Okay. And why did you handcuff did, me? 
because what was your you reasoning? were resisting my detention. And what was the detention you for? Failed. What was your reasonable articulable suspicion? yourself. For what crime? Disorderly conduct. And what did I do? Crash. You were what? flipping me I, off. Oh, yes, I flipped yeah. you off. Thank you for saying that. That's Absolutely. all I needed. Absolutely, it's no problem. Fact, it's a First Amendment activity. Also. Okay, great. Okay. It's a First Amendment right, activity. I need your ID. No. No. So I'm going to have to take you to jail to identify you. If that's what you're going to do. If you're going to illegally arrest me. Why are me, you like this? Because I did something that's constitutionally protected. I'm Why? not giving you my okay. ID. Let's go. It's this part here I think is really impressive. He demands her identification and for her to disclose who she is. And she says, nope. And by doing that, she throws on a massive punk card. And she dares Chief Ford to pick it up. And now the chief's in a problem. He's in a bit of a bind now. Because he threatened her with jail. She didn't identify herself. And she's daring him to cuff her up. A very ballsy move. But he just as easily could have cuffed her and taken her in jail. But I think Moody was willing to do that. And if you're going to play this game, you have to be prepared. You're going to go to jail in this situation. Not because I flipped you off. Yes. This... It's First Amendment protected activity. It is First Amendment protected activity. It is a First Amendment protected activity. You obviously failed the course. Okay. Yeah. YouTube University. Yeah, sure. But I don't know where you went to school, Chief. Where did you go? Hehaw State Community College? Because they didn't do a good job teaching about the First Amendment. Or was it just, oh, we don't worry about that thing down here? I, I don't know, but this lady's got, got the up on you at this point. This is because I flipped him off. First Amendment protected activity. I have the right to say, well, fuck you. Out here, when you were doing this, I thought you might actually be in need of help. I went like that to you. No. Yeah, okay. That's not what you did. I would love to see you take the stand in a prosecution for disorderly conduct or in a deposition for a 1983 civil rights case that you are going to claim that doing this is some sort of cry for help or a distress signal. I really would love to see that because I don't know how a jury is not going to laugh at you, much less anyone else in the courtroom. You need to really grow up a little yes, bit. Yes, you do. No crime committed, you so good are luck. an absolute joke in this community. No crime committed, so good luck. So now he's threatened her with jail and she called his bluff. And you can hear it in his voice. He's getting worried because he's running out of options. He doesn't know what to do. And I think he knows he can arrest her because I think he knows, oh shit, I'm getting in trouble here. But he pulls up his phone and says, I'm going to make a call, which... I have to presume he actually did call someone, isn't just lying here because he's a scared little bunny rabbit. But he likely called somebody in the you know city attorney, the city solicitor, or maybe the local district attorney's office to figure out what was going on. And I'm sure that call went a little bit like this. Hmm. Hello. Oh, hey, Chief. Yeah, yeah, I got a minute. What's going on? Ah, okay. So... Start from the beginning then. What happened? Uh-huh. I see. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's not illegal. No, no, you, you can't arrest her for that. That's protected speech under the First Amendment. Now, look, look, I don't care if you were upset. I don't care if it hurt your feelings. It's not illegal. No, no, no. I didn't go to YouTube University either. You mean, why do I agree with her? I'm not agreeing with her. I'm agreeing with the law. And she's agreeing with the law. You're the one that's not. This isn't YouTube University telling you this. It's the Supreme Court of the United States of America. You're going to let her go. And she's going to walk away. And you're going to have to deal with it. Well, what do you want me to do? Like, you're literally violating the law. And you need to stop before we get sued. And then you're going to get sued. So no, you're letting her go. No, th there's no more discussion. You're going to let her go. Yeah, that's it. 
Have a great day, Chief. Fucking moron. It's only after 20 minutes of this unlawful arrest and the unlawful detention, this unlawful and illegal seizure, she's finally released. He tells her to go on her way and that she's dismissed. And that she's free to go. Okay, got it. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. We're at 20 minutes of an illegal detainment here. It's not an illegal detention, ma'am. Absolutely you is. Identify yourself, you'd be long I don't long. have to identify if there's Get not a crime here. committed. Get out of here. Go I don't away. have to identify if there's not a crime committed, go away. dumbass. Go away. You're not my boss. Go away. Why? Because I'm done with you. Go away. Okay. And you're guess what? I'm just dismissed. getting started with you because you're you fucked up. You fucked up. You're gonna get dismissed you're from your job. Dismissed. I doubt that highly. Okay. okay? You just illegally detained me. I'm going to go to the hospital and get my wrist checked out because oh, it fucking hurts. Oh, you totally should. I will because you my totally fingers are tingling. And no, I know this is going to be really hard to do, especially if you're in this situation. It's going to be hard to let it go. But when they tell you you're go, when you're free to go, go away. Get the fuck away from there. If you were illegally arrested for 20 minutes, you're already dealing with somebody who's really stupid. That stupid person has a gun and the force of the law to do things to you. In fact, they just did something to you that was really wrong. Don't give them any more excuses. Get away from them. Document it. Get in touch with counsel. Do something, but get away from there. Don't give them a reason to give a casual encounter or give them a reason they think they can arrest you again. You don't want to do that. Get away from there. Now, Moody doesn't get away. She, in fact, sticks around, and we get to hear some brilliant gems from Chief Ford. Get her first lady take, and then go on. Much to all law enforcement pirates and put everything on YouTube and I can go ask to see. Uh, Chief Ford, I mean, you kind of are a tyrant because you did illegally arrest someone for 20 minutes because they hurt your fucking feelings, you little fucking pussy. And then Chief Ford ends his contact with Moody by telling her that there'll be a citation in the mail. This isn't an ordinance violation. You're an officer. This is First Amendment protected activity. Again, you, you failed your YouTube University horribly. Okay. This is First Amendment protected activity, uh, dumbass. I'm going to stop up by City Hall and get a copy of the ordinance. Uh, oh, I have a copy of it. Thank you very much. Do you? I'm not sure how you're going to give her a citation in the mail because you don't have her name or information. Man or mouse time, Chief, and you chose the mouse route. And before we get too far, we need to recap all those times she flipped him off. Just, just to recount the glory of it. This is First Amendment protected activity. Now leave me alone. Because federally, I can flip him off. Yes. This is oh, First Amendment you. protected activity. It is. I have the right to say, well, fuck first you. Out here, when you were doing this, I thought you might actually be in need of help. I went like that to you. No. Yeah, okay. That's not what you did. Ordinance violation. I think this isn't an problem. ordinance violation. You're an officer. That's this is First Amendment. So the question is, can you flip off the police? Yes, you can flip them off. You can cuss them out. You can say mean things to them. Why? Because it's protected speech. They are the government. You are allowed to speak against the government. You are allowed to redress grievances. And the fact is, they are the one part of the government you are likely to interact with on a person-to-person -person level. So, yes, they have, to have a, they have to have a thick skin. And if they can't, well, then go bake cookies instead if it's really that too tough for them. Now, what has happened here wouldn't be protected by qualified immunity. And we know that because the Eighth Circuit has already ruled on that. And guess where Missouri is? Yeah. The Eighth Circuit. Now, there's also Supreme Court case law that goes forward on this. And it's cases like Houston v. Hill, Cohen v. California, and Baumgartner v. United States, where 
it's been stated routinely you have the right to use coarse language in front of the government and that government officials have to take it now that doesn't mean you can walk into the mayor's office and start screaming at them but if the mayor's walking down the street guess what yeah you're going to be able to give the mayor a piece of your mind more importantly you are allowed to give police officers the constabulary of peace of your mind so if you want to scream fuck the police fornicate the constabulary or just give them one of these or maybe you're one of the guys like this you want that full extension on your thumb to really make it so it's like Argh! you're allowed to do that now what does this leave us with well i can only hope moody yacker can find a civil rights attorney out in missouri who will light chief sam's ass on fire with the 1983 lawsuit and why can i say that well, Chief Ford figured out who it was and wrote a letter saying, I'm declining to prosecute or file charges against you. That's because he talked to an attorney who said, you're a fucking idiot and we're not doing this. But it gets even better because in the timeless actions of the government, well, they investigated Chief Ford and they determined, well, he had done nothing wrong. Shocker, I know. But that still gives Moody the opportunity to go after him in court. And I hope she does because that deposition will be hilarious to listen to. So that's it for today, guys. Please uh, like, share, subscribe, questions or comments below. Do you ever tell the police to fuck off? Do you ever flip off cops? Let me know. I'm curious to know if people actually do do this routinely. Is it something I would do personally? No, but you have that right to do it. And you are allowed to exercise those rights. So until next time, guys, remember, just because you did it doesn't mean you're guilty. Especially when it comes to telling the police to fuck themselves. You could do that, and you don't have to be guilty about it.